Hi, this is Risa with Inconvenient Interviews with Risa and Hello Giggles. Today I am at the beautiful and adorable Petty Cash Taqueria on Beverly, and I am interviewing Mindy Project superstar Zosha Rockmore. Hi, Zosha. Hey, Risa. Are you so excited to garden with me today? I'm super excited. Let's pick some stuff and then we'll cook it. Oh my god, a bug. <laughs> run, run! Inconvenient interviews with Risa. What are we cutting first? Um, I'm trying to identify it via smell. <laughs> I'm like, it, it smells green. It smells like something you would definitely want to put in your food. Yeah, it might be a flower, but I wouldn't be mad at that. So Zosha, I met you back in the day. We were in a little sketch comedy cr group, gr crew and group, called Creep. Back of, a little croup we like to crunk, and we're a group. <laughs> but we were called the Back of the Line. Do you feel like still that was kind of the pinnacle of your career when we were just doing improv and it was so raw, do. like doing sketch comedy? I do, that's the funniest I've ever been, honestly. Probably for real too, like. It was so much fun. That was the only time I was in a sketch group. Professional comedy is so like clicky and like hard to find your way into. It's such a boys club and our group is like a lot of funny women. Such a boys club. My first impression of you, you had like an afro when I met I you. So Zosha was like this skinny, beautiful girl with this afro and we were walking together in the park and like a pigeon sort of flew near us and Zosha said, those pigeons better not get near my hair. And that's when I first fell in love with Zosha. Where do you see your character, Tamara's love life, going in the next season? Because I'm like over Rayron. I'm over oh, him. Yeah. I think Tamara's feeling herself this season, so maybe she'll be like keeping her options open. Do you think in your real life you'll be keeping your options open? My options are always open. I read an interview where you were like doing an appeal for a boyfriend and I thought if Zosha needs to make an appeal for a boyfriend, there's literally no hope for me. Oh my god, there's no hope for anyone. It's like the more basic you are, the more you can have a boyfriend and when you're fly and in pink dresses like that. Do you think the pink dresses are steering the men away from me? What if some birds flew on this rooftop right now? Girl. The, in, the interview would go from inconvenient to like a death scene because I'd probably jump off of the roof. Oh, you would jump. I thought you were going to be like, oh my God, those no. birds are going down. Uh -oh. Like, see, this one has been attacked by uh, the kale-eating parasite <laughs> that's known as Kaleo. And it's... Oh my God, she knows a lot about gardening. I know a lot about gardening. Where do the Kaleo live? <laughs> Where don't they live? <laughs> When you were um, on the set of the film Precious, how did you guys keep it light? Oh my gosh, well luckily for me, the scenes I was in were really light. Like, they were. Yeah, like the classroom was kind of like the place where she was happy and found happiness in life and wasn't being like raped and beaten on the daily. <laughs> in Mindy Project, you have these incredible one-liners. I know. Glamour Magazine said you had the best one-liners, like of any person on television. Dun, dun, dun. I thought uh, that I always go back and forth with that because I'm like, one-liners? Hello? I'm a star. I'm like, what the hell is a one-liner? Don't you think it's better? You have like the star and they're like, blah, 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 I'm boring, I'm boring. And then yeah. you come in and you're like, blah, blah. And then everyone's like, oh, you bring the house down and then you leave and everyone wants more. That's true. I'm starting to tap into the everyone wanting more side of it as opposed to like the the lack part of it. The, the lack. Like the, like the one line aspect that is embarrassing to me. Yeah. So. I understand. But in, in um, Precious, you had that amazing line about your favorite color. I'm Joanne. My favorite color is fluorescent beige. Oh, wait, let me say it like a one liner. Fluorescent beige. Did you get that walk? <laughs> That's how one-liners walk to be like, I'm George Jefferson. I like say weird things. I'm like, mashed potato. <laughs> Everyone's like, we love her. Everything in this garden's really sour. Hmm. The cucumber was really Where do sour. they keep the sweet stuff like the cookies? Mmm, the cookie tree. Where's that cookie tree at? I need this one bite. Shallot. Oh my, that's too dusty. Everything's so damn dusty out here. Ooh, Risa. Rabbit Reese. These look like they could be an avatar. Like you like pay, like zoom past it and it's like Yeah. Ah. And a baby comes yeah, out like and they're like up. it is the spawn child. You were named after an African tribe. Does that put a lot of pressure on you? It does. 
It does. Because, well, for a long time, I thought that maybe I was, like, the long-lost princess of the Kosa people. Kosa. It's like, you have to click on, it's like Kosa, but instead of a K, click on it. Kosa. But, like, all at once, like, Kosa. You have to do that movement. Kosa. I think it helps you, you, like, go into African dance as you do it. I'm the Kosa. <laughs> it helps get the click out. I realize that they spell their tribe different than my name is. Yeah, because your dad like changed it. He was like, mm, it's a little tricky. Yeah, he was like, it's a little weird. Shredded prickle leaf. Mm. If someone doesn't die with what we're cooking, we haven't done it right. <laughs> That's our motto <laughs> at our restaurant. If someone doesn't have diarrhea, we didn't put enough heart into our <laughs> vegetable picking. Do you like Mexican food? I love Mexican food. I am a native Los Angelino, so I love Mexican food, Mexican candy, Mexican beverages. Piñatas. Piñatas. There's a lot of dangerous things on this roof, such as number one, direct sunlight, number two, scissors, number three, uh, lots of like booby traps all around the organic garden. This is so dangerous because I'm holding scissors. Be careful. Maybe a scissors. Like in an action movie. That's fresh mint. <gasps> by God, we my God, we found it. The fresh mint. Fresh mint. Oh my God, I gotta get a this lot of like it. You got I got a bundle full of greens in my hand. Oh my God, we got a pepper. We have greens. I think it's time to go cook these or give them to someone to cook for us while we get a drink. I guess we'll just figure that out when we go down. Yeah, we'll just figure it out on the day. Figure it out on the day. Yeah. Meaning. In probably like five minutes. Oh, that was absolutely exhausting. Whew. We got so sweaty. So we just actually gave the cooks our vegetables and we were like, can you make us some enchiladas? Yeah, and they were really nice and obliged, obviously. So we'll have some mint, pepper, cucumber, uh, kale. Ta tacos. Kale chiladas. They're gonna be delish. <sighs> Meanwhile, I think we deserve whatever this is. Salute. Cheers. This has been Inconvenient Interviews with Risa, with Hello Giggles, with the beautiful Zosha Rockmore from the Mindy Project. You did a great job gardening. Thank you, Riri. You're welcome, Zozo. At Petty Cash Taqueria, you should come here. It's delicious.